What's up guys and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a relatively new weekly paying dividend ETF. But first, let's just look at my portfolio for the week. So I'm still at $50,048.44. On the week, I lost $174.67, but I gained $71.50 in dividends. We can actually check that out. So I received $72 from or 72 cents from Abbott wish it was $72, $5.66 from Hormel, $7.64 from General Mills, $15.24 from Verizon, $17.23 from AbbVie, and then $25.01 from Income, and that's going to be BST. So next, I do have $159.22 in buying power, which will be bought next tomorrow. So I'm going to buy Dollar General, Abbott, Medtronic, and Lowe's. And then if we go over to my activity feed, in the last week, I received an $8.48 dividend from Merck. I deposited $125. I did my four buys, which are Abbott, Dollar General, Medtronic, and Lowe's. And then I received a dividend from Altria of $22.13. Another four buys of the same companies. On the 11th, and then on the 13th, I received $27.36 from BXMT, $6.55 from O Realty, and then I finally received my first dividend from Medtronic of $0.31. Cents. Now, let's go over to the Research tab and look up our stock. So the ticker symbol is WKLY for weekly, and right off the bat they are not showing up on m1 finance so we're going to switch over to seeking alpha so this is weekly the sofi weekly dividend etf currently trading at 47 dollars 88 they're currently down nine dollars and 20 cents on the year and it looks like they're just above the middle range on the 52 week and then they have an expense ratio of 0.49 percent which is a little high and as far as the dividend frequency, the yield, when it comes to a weekly paying stock, I believe Seeking Alpha is not coded for that. They're normally coded for monthly or quarterly stocks. So we're going to go over to the dividend history. As you can see, their dividend is pretty flat. It started in, I want to say, May of 2021. They did pay out a special dividend on December 26 of 2022 of 47 cents. However, if we scroll down, you can see that their dividend has always just been two cents every single week. So they have not increased their dividend, which is I'm not liking that. All right, let's go into their fact sheet. So weekly seeks to provide investors with consistent income by tracking the SoFi sustainable dividend index made up of the most consistent dividend paying companies globally why weekly first off you get paid weekly which i actually like this about this etf because at my current job i get paid every week so it's nice to get that money every friday and then just invest it right away so that it can compound so that's actually a really cool feature of this etf and then they say sustainable dividends they include companies that have a consistent track record of paying dividends over the past five years and are forecasted to pay over the coming year. And then globally diversified, it contains over 300 holdings from around the world, weekly benefits from broad diversification across industries and geographies, providing one-click exposure to a global portfolio. So once again, their objective is just to provide payments every single week. Now let's go over to their top holdings. And if you look at their top 10 holdings, it's actually pretty good companies. They got Johnson & Johnson, ExxonMobil, JP Morgan, Procter & Gamble, Chevron, Nestle, Pfizer, Merck, Bank of America, and Roche Holdings. So once again, those are our solid holdings in their fund. So that makes me feel a little bit better since this is such a new fund. And now let's do a back test. I put $1 million, reinvest the dividend, show the income, 
and I did weekly and the S&P 500. So if we scroll down, with initial balance of 1 million, this is after one year, so all of 2022. Because this ETF is so new, they're not showing the previous data from 2021. So you end up with weekly outperforming the S&P 500 at $924,559 and the S&P 500 at $818,000 and 143. And then let's scroll down to the income for the year 2022. Weekly would have provided you with $28,272 and the S&P 500 would have provided you just under half of that at $13,000. $703. So here's my opinion on this stock. While it is cool that they pay a weekly dividend, I don't like that they haven't increased their dividend. I would think even if they increased it by just a penny, that would be a 50 cent, a 50% increase. And that would be nice. And on the other hand, I just think this ETF is too new. And the company SoFi is also a new company. So I personally wouldn't invest money in this, but maybe in the next five to 10 years, if they start growing their dividend and increasing their assets under management, I may potentially buy this stock in the distant future when I'm getting closer to retirement, just so I could get that consistent weekly income, which would be really nice. And then guys, with that being said, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And on the left, there should be another video where you can see I compare QILD to SCHD. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.